Hi, and thanks for logging on to the Daily Dvar. Here's a brand new halacha for you, and it's for Thursday, the fifth day of July. Here we go. When the three weeks start, and they start right after Shabbos, then there should be not, there, you should not be going to concerts and things of the sort. We are in the middle of a sad period starting then, and of course going to concerts, live performances, etc. is considered out of step with the sadness that we should, we should be showing during this time when we remember the destruction of both temples. Now, as far as listening to music in your home or your car, um, there's all kinds of opinions out there. I got to tell you, some people feel that, well, it's just recorded music. It's not like I'm going to a show and I'm not really being entertained. It's just background while I do my work or whatever. So if you want to know the, the opinion of most of the rabbis that I read from, it seems to be that you should try to refrain from that music, recorded music too. And that's because you should want to show that you're participating in the sadness of our temple not being there. And therefore, whenever possible, you should not listen to even recorded music. There are those people who will say, yeah, when I'm in the car alone doing a long trip and I might fall asleep, which can be dangerous, uh, maybe I can flick on some music then just to help keep me awake. Some rabbis will permit that. Please discuss that with your rabbi. And then there's the question of those tapes that don't actually have music on them. They're just a cappella voices in choir. That too, there's a wide difference in opinion amongst all the rabbis. Some feel that it still sounds like music and it feels like music to you and some would say not to do that. I also would recommend that you consult your rabbi on that matters on matters like that because there are rabbis who will say it's allowed, there are rabbis who will say that it's not allowed and you should follow your one rabbi on matters like that. I just want you to know that it is a controversy. If you are a uh, music teacher and you teach music to people, a lot of people say that that's permissible because that's your living. Um, can you practice your music? Some will say yes, uh, depending on which rabbi you ask. And that too, you should uh, consult with your rabbi on matters like that. A lot of people will say that practice is not necessarily enjoyment. It's very rigorous. But you should discuss all music is basically up to the decision of the rabbi that you speak with. He will not, I should just clarify, he's not going to just flip a coin and decide it based on how he feels, but uh, there are so many differing opinions, he'll help you cull together an opinion out of all the opinions of the rabbis for you on that matter, because it is a controversial thing to be involved in music at a time of sadness, but he'll help you decide what's appropriate for you if it's practice and if it's just to keep you awake in the car and if it's a cappella, etc., etc. Music is generally a no-no, and there is room for some leniency on some of these uh, matters. Speak to your rabbi. Thanks for logging on. Log on again tomorrow for more. Bye-bye.